Hey there and happy Tuesday. So um, last night I had a great card class at the Medelia Public Library. Um, they're always so gracious um, there to have me and invite me to come in and um, do my, my classes and such. And had a great group of uh, 20 ladies come through and make four cards. So um, I think their favorite was maybe the Silly Goose out of the four. And I would posted that yesterday. And throughout the week I'll try and post the other three too. Hi there, Tori. And so... Um, Today, I thought I'm going to just continue on with that theme. So I had um, started kind of my um, monthly uh, card of, card set of eight, and I did Silly Goose, and then yesterday I posted Silly Goose, and today I just picked out a different stamp from that same stamp set, uh, Silly Goose. And so I'm just going to kind of keep giving you ideas with that same stamp set um, because I'm also today kicking off a virtual um virtual party for Jenny Allen. Hi there, Pam. Hi, Jill. And so I thought, well, I have kind of showed you um, the Silly Goose through my team swap, through my March set of eight now, and then the library class yesterday and today's is my virtual hostess. So um, all different occasions, and I keep that in mind um, so that if you're um, earning my cards through your order, getting them in the mail from me or at a class, um, you won't go, I've already d had this card before or did something like that. So I'm hoping to um, mix up the events, but st stick with the same stamp set. So hopefully that makes sense. And my iPad is caught up too. So if you have questions as I go along, uh, ask away. And Pam, I'm going to be doing a lot of die cutting today. Not a ton really, but some interesting die cutting. So that will help you too. So let me get a little bit closer. And here is the card um, this way. So you've got a friend and me. And then the reason this kind of keeps shuffling out is my inside sentiment that says I'm here for you. Um, like that doesn't have to be in there. Yes, I know, Pam, you love die cutting. Um, so that's why um, I'm going to the people that receive this card through Jenny's party. Um, I'm just going to have this loose in here. So if this isn't exactly what you want, you can just flip it over, put something else in. Or if it is what you want, then you can just... Uh, um, put some adhesive on the back of it and tack it in there. So got some fun sunshine on my card because it isn't sunshiny out my window. It's just like we keep getting blasted with snow and more is on the way here in a couple days. So I'm trying to um, like live vicariously through the sunshine on my Stampin' Up! cards. <laughs> All right. Hi there, Lois. And so from the mini catalog on page 27 we probably have this memorized now, is the Silly Goose. And I'm having so much fun with it. Um, sometimes I don't have the patience to color things in, but with these, I've just they're just so cute that I do sit down and take the time to color, even though you don't have to do a lot of coloring. So today I'm going to use um, the cute little goose um, floating on her uh, little tube there. So um, for that, we've got, yeah, here we've got, um, so like lately you've seen me use... Um, this one and this one, this one a couple times and that one. And so today, so I don't think tomorrow I'm going to do that one just as a heads up. <laughs> just kidding. I mean, I'm not kidding. I'm not going to use it, but um, it's going to probably make an appearance at some point, right? All right. So um, how I want to start with my card is kind of building up this background here. Hi there, Donna. Nice to have you on here. So my card base itself is the Orchid Oasis, and it's one of uh, this year's in colors. So it's folded this way. And then the colors that I'm bringing in are um, some balmy blue and then the Orchid, Orchid Oasis um, designer series paper comes from the flowers and more. So when you see like this really bold 12 by 12, um, it is flowers and more 12 by 12. And that is in the back of the mini catalog too. So I always like to, when I use this, point out that um, even though it kind of says host exclusive and such in the back, here we go, the very back, flowers and more, you see all that. Um, so it's a $30 value because it's that huge 48 um, stack of designer series paper, 48 sheets. And so um, hostesses can get it for $18. So my hostess right now is Jenny Allen. 
Maybe I should get that name in there a little bit better. There we go. Hi, Kay. Um, so, like, she could take her host rewards that she's earning from her party and just spend $18 to get that huge 48-pack of paper. Or for those of you that go, you know what? My list is long. I'm just going to place an order. And some of you do that, and it gets over $150. Well, then you can get this... Um, the $18, you just put that in as your host rewards, pay the extra $3, and you've got that huge set of paper. So that is where that is coming from. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. Um, and so that's where that's coming from. And what I'm going to do um, is start by taking this piece of balmy blue. It's four inches by about two and a half. Um, and I'm going to emboss that just to give a little texture um, to the sky here on the card. And for that, I'm going to use my Painted Texture 3D Embossing Folder. I love this. It just um, can take on so many different things for what you need, um, like from ice cream um, to clouds in the sky or just, you know, kind of a nice uh, backdrop for this card. Just um, fun. Sometimes I uh, just do it in white and use my blending brushes, but today I'm going to use my Balmy Blue. So since it is a 3D embossing folder, I'm putting my big thick plate number one and then my um, cardstock and embossing folder and then that specialty plate number four. I'm just going to run that through quick like so. Set that aside. And then we've got this. And the fun of the 3D embossing folders is um, you can just really see the indents on those um, images that get um, pressed into there too. So it makes it fun that way. So I'm just going to tip that over and put some adhesive on that. And then just put that up towards the top of my card base here. And then this one I cut four inches by three inches and so the nice thing about those measurements, if you're good at math, you know that you can make up, um, like you can make up several cards and then um, the math will allow you to use up all of the, um, all of that 12 by 12 piece because the four by three um, you can make, let me see, I actually have a chart here too that I refer to every once in a while. The four by three is pretty easy. Um, as you'll get nine, like I can make nine cards out of this then. <laughs> so, but who's counting, right? All right, so I've got that. And then I wanted to, um, like later on, you'll see, like I started kind of with this background, these two colors, and then I built with my um, Silly Goose the other colors. And I kind of wanted some kind of belly band um, just to break up these two colors. And then with that, um, what color do I want to pull in? Do I want to just pull in something solid? Sometimes I just take like another piece of Orchid Oasis cardstock and do that, or I bring in ribbon or something like that. Hi there, Donna. Got two Donnas watching. Um, so eventually when I started to color this in, I um, brought in some of the Granny Apple Green. So I was like, oh, where have I seen some striped Granny Apple Green lately? And it was ironically from the um, Tea Boutique 6x6 six six paper. So if you remember like these little um, tea pots and such, and you think really that's going to go with my, uh, my Silly Goose for Granny Apple Green. But um, there is this piece that has kind of the striped um, paper there and floral on the other side. So I thought, you know, I kind of like that. Um, and it's probably more of the parakeet party, but because it's kind of two-tone, I love that. So I just cut um, a four inch strip and then um, one inch across like that. So I'm just going to add another bit of adhesive on there. And then that's gonna kind of break up our card there too and cover that across the middle. So that's gonna be kind of the backdrop to our card. And then next, I'm going to pull out a couple um, different dies from the Something Fancy die stamp set. So Something Fancy is a bundle in the mini catalog. And I've been having fun using um, all these different kind of shaped dies here. And so out of that, I'm just gonna pull these two out. And these two, mat each other really well. So let me get out my cut and emboss machine right away and change out my plates kind of. And let's load some Orchid Oasis. Oops. All these pieces I've been showing you are now my way. <laughs> okay, so I've got this Orchid Oasis and I'm just going to use, whoops, the bigger 
piece on here like so and then I'm going to take um, the smaller matting piece here and put that on white and since um, I have extra space still I might as well use that last die and show you where that comes from and do them all at once stylish shapes dies you guys know I use this all the time I pulled out the teeniest tiniest of the circle dies that's going to be stitched hi there Sharon and that's going to be our sun in the sky so let me feed all three of these through at the same time and we'll have all of our die cutting done also for the card. So let me bring these back. Sometimes they want to stick to my cutting plate. Yes, they are. So I'm kind of holding you in suspense till I get them off my cutting plate, right? <laughs> okay, so these two are from the Something Fancy. Um, these two mat together like so and then this is that stylish shapes but how fun that with that stitched edge there then that can be our sunshine so now I'm going to build up the seam by starting my stamping um, I'm just pulling over since um, I ordered the Silly Goose photopolymer stamp set you could also do the red rubber but I wanted to be able to see my images so I'm getting out my stamp and mat and it might go over the edge just a little bit so I'm going to put some paper on there and get out my memento black i did um look just before i came live to see um what the status of the memento black ink pad and refill and they were supposed to be in this week so i was pretty excited thinking oh i can get um some of those notifications out to people and say hey it's finally back in but now they've changed it to the week of march 20th so kind of a two-week delay that i wasn't anticipating so hopefully it truly does come in there but i just wanted to let people know so i'm just going to kind of center that and try and make sure i fit that whole cute little floaty on there so we've got that like so how cute is that and then next for those that love to watch me color i know some people might think snooze fast and i should probably have background music for when i do my coloring to make it go faster but other people are just like i don't know um just like crazy about coloring <laughs> so what i'm gonna do oops, i'm gonna bring this back is start with some balmy blue light and dark so with my um light one here oh hold on i'm gonna add some waves before I start my coloring. So Stampin' Up! gave us this image here that just kind of adds more, looks like little U's actually. So that I'm just gonna fill in and make it look like it's all supposed to be on there as one. All of a sudden I went, why doesn't that look full like my, like my um, sample one does? So then with my light, here we go, my light balmy blue, I'm just gonna take the brush tip, which I don't use very often. I would say 99% of the time I use my um, other tip and I'm just gonna color in the whole bottom of this. Hey there, Sherry, thanks for popping on. And I'm just gonna get it up towards the top where it reaches the floaty, but not all the way, like so. And that's the light one. <laughs> Tori's like snooze fast. Yes, I mean, I don't know, like some people for their coloring, they might be like, oh, please like do that. And then have, or even have like a second one um, where you can snap your fingers and go, here it is. But then those that like to see like, how did you make that look like that? Um, so like I'm just scribbling over these U's or those extra images that are on there. Um, so that's what I'm doing is almost like making a circle over the top of that, like so. And then I'm going to take and polka dot with that same dark balmy blue. Just go and fill in all the circles here of the inner tube here, the little cute floaty. So then that's gonna be coordinating. <laughs> and then um, I'm going to switch to Orchid Oasis, which is the back round color of this. So it starts to coordinate a little bit. I'm going to take my darker one first and just kind of um, outline my floaty here with this and go around all the polka dots. This one's a little bit putzier because you know, you just can't go racing around covering up the polka dot. So I need to just kind of watch that a little bit. Um, so both my waves, kind of dodging those, and my polka dots here, like so. And I'm not going to go around the ones um, that aren't on the edge. 
And then um, I will fill in carefully the rest here with the lighter Orchid Oasis. So it's going to give us that nice two-tone blends look that we love. It's the whole reason why we buy these markers besides that they just glide so well when we use them to color like they are the best markers ever. I could color all day with these and I didn't used to want to do that. All right, here I'm going to give you a close up so now you can kind of see how that's coming together like so. And since I have this um, in my hands, I'm just going to go on the hat band here and fill that in as well. So that color is all done and then next I'm going to take my light pumpkin pie and that's going to be the color today of the Silly Goose. I've been doing all sorts of different colors with the beak and, um, and everything too. But today that's going to be light pumpkin pie. And then um, let's go with the flowers next on her hat band. And I'm just going to quick color that in like so. That flower, all the daffodil delight there. I, I said yellow, but I don't think I gave specifics. So that's going to be those three flowers in the dark daffodil delight. And then our frog, of course, needs some color. I could have went two-tone and I went, you know what? I don't like coloring that much. So he's going to be all one color. He's going to be all of the dark granny apple green. And then there's a couple leaves up here that I'm just going to um, just basically tap my marker on and then that's full and then with the lighter of the balmy blue again I'm just going to go and fill in the hat here like so and then the last thing I have to do is take my light smoky slate and I'm just going to trace the inside of the goose just kind of wherever there's a black line I'm just going to go around that and around the eye and then that every time I do this I feel like oh that kind of got dark but it dries so fast and it lightens right up so here it is completely finished so I just love the pop of that bright orchid oasis color and I can already see that my goose is fading out so give it a couple minutes and you can even see how much darker the one I just did is compared to that same color, but that's what happens when we allow it to dry a little bit. Okay, so let me pop this back up so we have more of a workspace here. And then I'm going to finish putting my card together. So from the something fancy dies that mat each other, I'm going to do a double pop up with my dimensionals here. So I'm gonna put about one, two, three dimensionals on here first, peel those off, and then uh, mat that on here, flip that over, and let's do one, two, oops, three, four dimensionals back here to pop up that next layer, and then we can just kind of center that like center it but I feel like my stripes does it look like my stripes are crooked maybe it's just me <laughs> all right I'm just gonna pretend that they're not and then try and put my goose on correctly there we go like so so now this is double pop so it's popped and then popped and then I'm going to put one dimensional behind that yellow stitch circle daffodil delight and just put that up in the corner so it looks like we've got some sunshine there and then for our sentiment um you've got a friend in me how fun is that like i don't know if it's the era that my kids were um growing up in but i have my middle son and he doesn't watch my videos um so he can't be embarrassed by this but he used to just bawl when toy story was over like like he would just be so sad because he kept wanting to watch it and so every time i think you've got a friend in me i can just see that little like, little penguin with um like the um the horse voice on there if you've ever watched toy story the original one so yeah i've kind of got that whole movie memorized thanks to that child <laughs> so you've got a friend in me i'm just putting in which the joy of photopolymer um on a half inch strip and i can just get that on there um perfectly thanks tori yeah that was really fun to color like i can't wait to make more of these cards um 
So with that new Happy Labels Punch, there's a couple different kind of scallop looks. And this was fun last night in my card class that I did. Some ladies haven't seen a punch like this before and then got to use it. And they're like, oh, that makes that little scallop look. Yes, it does. And this is all that gets cut off for your little piece of scrap. So nobody has to worry like, oh my goodness, we're just using up so much extra cardstock because we're not. All right. And then I'm just going to take my scissor here and just give that a little snip. And then let's grab just a... Uh, piece of trim from that dimensional here and then that's going to be the back side there and that's going to be popped up on the bottom so it just kind of ties together the blue up here and it makes this piece down here don't um to not look just so all purple even though there's some design in there it just kind of fills the card just by adding that little piece and that little piece it just kind of um ties everything together makes everything kind of makes sense but of course i need to add some kind of embellishment um uh, i'm actually going to do a couple things so the first one here is the solid faceted gems. And oh my goodness, I hear grandkids coming in my door that I weren't expecting. That's the joy of having them close by. <laughs> so with these solid faceted gems, we've got um, four, maybe there was even five or more colors on here. Um, so I'm just gonna use my balmy blue and my take your pick tool and take the larger of the gems here. Hi, Weston and um, the smaller one, whoops, here. You wanna watch, watch me? Of course you do. Okay, so we've got that going there. And then um, the other thing that I wanna add is my Wink of Stella. So my Wink of Stella here, um, I'm just going to put that over my sun, over that, and that's gonna make that all sparkly. I'm gonna give it another kind of gentle little squeeze and then just brush that over all of that water. And I never know, like on your end, how that camera is going to um, do with picking up that shimmer shine that's on there, but hopefully you can kind of see that um, there and there, the shimmer shine. Hey there, Kelly. And then the last thing that I want to do, whoops, I need my ink pad, is to just take for the inside. I'm not doing much with the inside today, but like I said, I'm going to um, stamp um, I'm here for you. And that's going to just go there. Yeah, so my grandkids both want to see. So I'm here for you is going to just be tucked into the inside here. I'm not tacking it down in case that is um, a sentiment that you don't want. Then you flip it over like so, but that's how that's going to end on the card. So let me get this flipped over, and I think Weston wants to say hi. So um, just there. Hold on. Okay, you got to stand up, Weston. Okay. Say on, hi. <laughs> okay. So, on, okay. Got to jump down. There we go. Grandpa needs you. Okay. All right. So that is card number one for Jenny Allen's virtual stamp party. And um, how you can get that card is place a minimum $25 order using her special host code. And then you'll get that card as well as the other two that I'll be demoing this week as a thank you from her from her and I for ordering. So if you have any questions on being a virtual hostess or ordering or need help to order through her party or my host code this month, just let me know and I can help you with that. Um, otherwise, we'll see you again. Thanks. Bye-bye.